What's up friends? I recently had a company reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to test out this nine foot umbrella. It has solar powered LED lights. I think there's like 32 of them. And it goes for the table on my patio. So I said yes to that, I'm very excited. And it was just shipped the other day. The first thing that caught my eye was the coffee. It's just after the 4th of July here in Michigan and today is a really hot day, probably close to 90 degrees and humid. So tonight will probably be much cooler, probably somewhere in the lower to mid 70s, which will be a nice outdoor sitting. And so here's my table right here. So I've never had an umbrella before that has LED lights. I do have a regular umbrella for this. So I'm very excited to be able to turn it on and off. So here's the box right here. Let's take a look at what's inside. Wrapped in plastic. Seems to be in there nice and snug. Oh, it's nice and snug in there. Here's some instructions. I'll look at those in a few minutes. As you can see, nice rich coffee color. Same fabric on both sides. Wasn't sure if one side would be shiny or not. All right, so here's a pull for it that would probably replace this one that I have for my other one. And okay, so this is the end of it for the top of it. This is the solar part. Remove this plastic film right there. All right, let me take a look at the instructions. I'll be right back. So it appears that you unscrew that. And then right here, this right here clips into that like so. There. So I'm guessing there must be an on off switch. I didn't get that far in the instructions yet. There we go. All right, that feels nice and secure. So that we'd love to hear from you dear customer thanks for purchasing our product all right thanks a million it says awesome you seem like a friendly company and I will put a link down below so you can find out more about this umbrella All right, so I do want to say this does not come with a base, so you're going to have to provide your own. I believe this company also sells them as well. I happen to already have one, so I'm going to go ahead and put this part into here where I have a base. There. So the wind blows, that base keeps it from flying around, keeps it stable. That slides on there. Okay. There. There's a little pin that pops through. Let's see, let's crank it. Let me back up a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna start cranking it open. Ah, yes, right here is a on off switch. Ooh, I can see them lighting up already. Cool. All right, so we're going to come back out here at night. I'm going to probably actually switch to my iPhone, which probably has better outdoor lighting capability. So, there. All right, so something that I'm wondering that you might be wondering too, does this tilt? Yes, it looks like it does goes that way. I'm a little bit close to the house. Yeah, it tilts that way. Yeah, looks like 32 LED lights. Let me give you a close up look at the lights before it gets dark. We're going to come back here tonight and get a better look at it. So underneath, you can see, 
each little individual light. Let me turn it on a minute. They all work. And the fact that they're LED means they should last a long time. All right, aluminum construction. Nice coffee color. They're speaking my language. And they're sending me coffee. It has a, um, an airflow right here, so it'll probably let some air go through without like ripping the umbrella and sending it to the neighbor's yard. That's a plus. So that's what it looks like from up top. So it looks like it's completely waterproof. All right. Very nice color. I like that. Nice rich coffee color. All right, so I'm very excited to come back out here tonight and test it out. I'm going to find myself a nice cold drink. This is what the umbrella looks like after the sunset went down about 30 minutes ago. It's not pitch black out yet, but it's getting pretty dark pretty fast. And I'm very happy with the way this works. I think the light that comes off it is just right. It's not too bright. It's not too dim. You could see cards if you're playing. And it's you know not just too bright where like you're under a stark light. So I'm really happy with it. I don't think it needs a dimmer or anything like that. I would just leave it at that brightness level. So I'm very happy to have this to use the rest of the summer and for years to come. So I would definitely recommend it. If you want to learn more, I'll have a link down below. Now my question of the day to you, if you are hanging out on a summer evening where it was really hot during the day, but now it's cooled down where it's like 70 degrees and a little breeze, what would be your drink of choice to chill out on a summer evening? Please put that down below. All right, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps support my channel. Thanks for watching. Cheers. If you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right. So please click on those. And if you like to see what I'm up to during the week, please connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. That's it, friends. Enjoy it.